Hi, my name is Sean McDuffie from Intel, and I'm here on behalf of the Digital Production Example Library Project, aka DPL, of the ASWF. Now, today I'm happy to announce the upcoming release of a new USD asset to the growing library of R&D assets for the DPL project. Now, just a quick overview of the DPL project itself. Uh, DPL was originally founded as a working group in the ASWF to solve the following problem. Uh, mainly, there was a gen generally a growing gap between the complexity of open source assets for use in benchmarking, uh, research and development, and those employed in production. So the working group was formed and has now grown, in grown into the DPL project, uh, which first developed a new license. That was the ASWF Digital Assets License. Uh, its purpose is to encourage publication of production-grade sample assets to close this gap. Now, the ASWF and DPL also hosts a platform that is a web page launched at SIGGRAPH last year, along with regular open meetings with attendants across studios and vendors, and we encourage more people to join us. The first assets to be hosted at DPL have already had great success, and download stats since the web page first went live have been presented in the overview talk. Uh, these include the STEM2 image data set for testing color pipelines, image processing and projection systems, Animal Logic's A-Lab USD production scene with over 300 assets and two characters complete with looping animations, uh, the AWS NOAA character. Uh, this is an animatable character complete with full rig and groom uh, and a collection of VDB cloud assets also from my team at Intel. And there are more on the way after the main focus of today's talk. Uh, the focus of that is uh, that 4004 Moore Lane 3D scene developed by Intel. Uh, this scene was developed alongside the development of Embry 4.0, uh, which is also an open source high performance ray tracing library, uh, also developed by Intel, uh, the recently added support for ray tracing hardware on our GPUs under Linux and Windows. Uh, this first render shows the view of the front of the asset rendered in Karma. As you can see, the scene is composed of a multi-room house in a rural setting. Uh, the scene was developed to test many difficult rendering situations we encountered as developers, uh, while also trying to be well composed and useful for publishing and demos. We found it to be very useful to us, and now we hope others will find it useful for them. Uh, going inside the house, we can see a few more scenes that are available in the asset. Uh, here's a kitchen. Uh, note the following renders were made with a demo renderer for Embry development, not Karma any longer. Uh, and this renderer is not intended as a product, but is a new tutorial. More of a close-up detail in the kitchen. Uh, one more important note to, to, to say about the asset. This asset was developed with only pure USD in mind. So everything is done with USD preview shader only. Uh, so here we also have a, a living room area that faces the outside. Uh, this is a side room set up uh, intended to be kind of like an artist's office, again, uh, looking out towards the landscape. Uh, you know, we, the whole idea with the asset is that it's an artist retreat kind of thing. Uh, this is a dining area in the central section of the house. And here you can see a wider view really getting the scope of the asset um, from the rear of, rear of the house uh, with uh, more of the foliage that surrounds it. So as I said, 4004 Moore Lane is an open source USD asset, uh, the purpose of which is to provide a fully composed, high quality scene for the purpose of testing various visual computing issues. The house itself is uh, wrapped around a number of typical problem areas for light transport and noise sampling. Uh, we have thin openings and exterior walls, there's recessed area light sources, deeply shadowed corners, and high frequency details. These are all uh, you know, stops on the tour of issues uh, surrounding the house interior. Uh, and the exterior landscape itself surrounding the house was comprised of a relatively simple, simple ecosystem of uh, instance plants, which uh, can provide some additional levels of complexity. In addition to the geometry itself being designed to exacerbate some typical issues, the USD structure itself was created for several layers of testing. The root USD asset consists of the main house structure, and the exterior terrain minus the flora instances. All of the materials are layered in over the core scene for easy access to core render issues and also to be able to do material R&D. Uh, and the exterior floral ecosystem has been provided as an example of native point instancing with various prototypes. 
Uh, and just as a wider Easter egg, uh, the whole structure is loosely inspired by the physical design of Intel's first commercial chip, the 4004 microprocessor, and uh, named after one of our founders, Gordon Moore. Uh, if you look around in the asset, there's lots of Easter eggs if you want to geek out on that kind of thing. So to use the scene, well, we provided a few different options. Uh, you can directly access the fully composed USD scene by pointing uh, whatever DCC you're using to the provided USD file. Uh, the documentation that will be provided with the asset will have all the details. Uh, we also provide a HIP file as an example of the pipeline within Houdini Solaris with Karma as the target Hydra delegate. Uh, the scene has been tested and verified across several delegates, including DreamWorks' Moonray, uh, Autodesk's Arnold, uh, Redshift, Octane, and in the standalone NVIDIA Omniverse platform. And the scene layers have also been broken apart to uh, be able to lighten the scene load and provide several entry points for you. Uh, there's two different USDA files are provided, uh, one with the full scene geometry and a minimal set of core materials for the establishment of the fundamental scene structure, and uh, another with the global material sublayer, which is applied as an over uh, to the scene geo. So uh, in addition to the use that we have we've, uh, that we had for ourselves, uh, we're also happy to show that the asset is already being used by others in the community. Uh, here are some renders contributed from DreamWorks Animation out of their open source production renderer Moonray. Uh, they will be presenting their release later on in the forum, and I encourage everybody to please go check that out. Intel's 4004 Morlane asset uh, was able to benefit the Moonray team by um, demonstrating USD constructs that they uh, have not historically supported within their own pipeline, but now they're, uh, they've added support to, or they're in progress on supporting to, uh, as they seek to generalize their USD integration in preparation for their public open uh, source release of Moonray. And you can see a list of the number of ones here that we have. Um, and it's just, it's fantastic to already see the asset being used in this way. And that's really what it's all about. That's what DeepL is about. It's why Intel is providing the scene. It's why we hope we encourage more and more studios and vendors to, to make DeepL be the success that we that we all desire it to be. And uh, we've shown this slide before on other presentations for DeepL, but it's still it's the you know the fundamental reason to be for the for the project. So for developers, what do you wish that you could test on? And studios, what do you wish that they had tested on? What do you wish that we had tested on? What do you wish to see in benchmarks? Huh? You know, help us help you. That's really the whole purpose here. And that's the purpose of open source in general. Um, and so I'll leave you with that. Thank you very much.